Four students, Anne, Bethany, Clyde, and Daniel, are raising money in a school fundraiser. Their current total and donation rate are shown in the following table. Anne has already raised $240 and can raise money at a rate of $20 per week. Bethany has raised $120 at a rate of $30 per week. Clyde has raised $60 at a rate of $30 per week. And Daniel has just started, but he can raise money at a rate of $60 per week. In Part A, we will derive equations for each student and draw their graphs. The money raised is found by multiplying the donation rate by the number of weeks, then adding the current total. The money Anne raises can be represented by the function a of n equals 20n plus 240. The money Bethany raises can be represented by the function b of n equals 30n plus 120. The money Clyde raises can be represented by the function c of n equals 30n plus 60. And the money Daniel raises can be represented by the function d of n equals 60n. We are using function notation to help identify which equation belongs to which person. We can graph money on the y-axis and number of weeks on the x-axis. Now draw each line on the same grid. This completes part A. In part B, we want to find the number of weeks it will take Daniel to catch up to Bethany. By looking at the graph, we can see that Daniel's line intersects Bethany's line at four weeks. This is how long it takes for Daniel to catch up to Bethany. In Part C, we want to determine if Daniel will ever raise more money than Anne. The point on the graph shows that Daniel's line intersects Anne's line at six weeks. After this point, Daniel will have raised more money than Anne since his blue line will be above her red line.